everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is a rustic design. Really, really cool. Rustic decor is always popular on all the social media sites, just asking how it's made and everything. I've already got all the pattern printed out and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and the project in question is a barn, and we're going to paint this a nice red color. This is three quarter inch pine here, and then the trim work here with the windows and the rooster and all is one quarter inch plywood. This will be painted white. Red and white is kind of the typical Americana style look of a barn. But once everything is put together, it's going to have another added effect of being a planter. And how that's going to be achieved is we're going to attach something that every southerner like me has in their house, and that is a simple mason jar. It will be attached with a clamp here, and that way you can hang this on the wall, and you can put artificial or live flowers in it, or whatever decor matches whatever you have in your household. And the way we're going to attach it is with a simple hose clamp. These are readily available at places like Ace Hardware and Lowe's Home Improvement, and they're relatively cheap. What we will do is screw it to it like this, and then the mason jar will fit down in once we tighten it. And that's also cool because if the mason jar ever gets grimy or dirty, you can just loosen the clamp, drop the mason jar out, go wash it, put new stuff in it, and reattach it. But really, really cool. Since everything is prepared, let's head over to the workbench, drill all of our pilot holes so we can head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the workbench, we're going to begin by drilling all of our pilot holes with the drill here. I like to show using a drill to drill pilot holes just to show that a drill press is not an essential tool when it comes to scroll saw woodworking. But then we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling. I am using number 5 ultra reverse scroll saw blades and they will cut through all the thicknesses of materials that we will use in this video with minimal chip out. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in his free pattern catalog. I like doing projects like this that aren't overly complicated to show that not all scroll saw projects have to be complicated. They can be basic craft-like patterns like this one we're doing here. Scroll saw patterns range from very simple to very tedious and I like to show a mix of all of them just to show how versatile a scroll saw is but just going through here getting all the cuts doing the lines on the barn windows there getting them released from the waste wood taking my time and letting the blade do the work cutting out the trim work for the top of the barn. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now cutting out the three quarter inch pine that will be the basic body of the barn and you see I didn't change the blade. I'm using the same number five ultra reverse scroll saw blade and it's cutting just as good with the three quarter inch material that it did with the one quarter inch material. But once we come around this side here, all of the scroll work will be done. And then we will head back over to the workbench and remove the pieces from the waste wood. And I will begin sanding here with the random orbit sander in 100 grit and I will hand sand everything else also with 100 grit sandpaper and then it will be time for painting I painted the barn body a nice bright red color which is traditional and I painted all of the trim work a white color and I went back and gave those several coats and let them dry thoroughly and after drying it was time to assemble with some CA glue but just gluing everything in place here and press fitting everything down for the glue to grab but then we will give it several coats of clear gloss clear coat the rust oleum brand and once that dries it, it will be time to install this clamp here for the mason jar and I drilled out a hole there for the screw to go through.
for easier access. But once that was tightened down, it was time to get the mason jar and put it into the clamp and tighten it down. And keep in mind it is glass, you don't want it to be tightened too much, just enough to hold. And I am no interior decorator, I'm just kind of showing you guys what can be done with this here. I found some blue marbles and some artificial flowers in the house and the project was complete. And here we have the completed rustic barn planner cut out completely on the scroll saw and it came out amazing. Thank you Steve Good for another unique and amazing pattern from your scroll saw catalog and I love how it uses the jar here which is an iconic thing of southern culture. Usually you see sweet tea or something in it you know to use as the actual planner. It took me around 10 minutes to scroll everything out. Not a very complex pattern at all. The most time I have in this is waiting for the paint the clear coat and the glue to dry when I was finishing the project but I was doing other stuff out here in the workshop while that was drying and all so all in all a good morning's work out here in the workshop now I am no interior decorator but there's a lot of ways to present this and paint it and finish it I've just got some blue marbles in there to simulate water with some artificial flowers just to show you what it will look like with flowers if you're interested of course you could take the marbles out and the, these flowers out put water in it and put real flowers in it and I like that you can loosen the clamp take the jar off and wash it periodically to keep it looking nice and clean if you're like me and like to go to the beach and then you also live on a farm you could travel to the beach for vacation vacation and bring back some sand to put in the jar and hang it on the wall as a nice memento or keepsake with some seashells and all. You could put a ribbon around the jar to hide part of the clamp. A lot of ways to use the jar and also a lot of ways to finish the barn. I of course just painted the three quarter inch pine and one quarter inch plywood with spray paint and I painted it red and white to simulate the classic Americana look of a barn. Steve and his pattern pack that you download for this project used actual barn wood for the backer and it looked beautiful with the cracks in it from age and all and the wash look but really really cool a lot of ways to display it and a lot of ways to finish it your imagination is your only limitation with this project but really really cool I had fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it this will probably end up being a gift to my aunt who lives out toward the country and has some farms around her and has her house decorated in the rustic style like this but really really cool if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below that's about all for this one y'all and remember if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon